Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Good morning. Happy, Happy morning. Tuesday. Morning. As promised, we got a guest speaker anyway. Right now. It's, it's time, time to, to wake, wake up, up and be, be happy. happy. Oh my gosh. Today is national another national drinking day. Oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> We love it. Cheers. Cheers, National Mojito Day. Cheers. So, Cheers. 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 Blueberry muffins and by request some rhubarb. As promised, those rhubarb muffins. Rhubarb muffins and breakfast burritos. And breakfast burritos. That's it. Hey, we want to kick this off with the joke of the day. What did the sushi say to the bee? <laughs> what? What did the sushi say to the bee? Yeah. What? You don't know? Oh. <laughs> What's <laughs> up, bee? <laughs> anyway, uh, with that, we will introduce our guest. He's still waking up and delir delirious. <laughs> this is our good friend Heather, who also has a bed and breakfast and who's dressed like this. Why? Um, I am a beekeeper, your local beekeeper yeah. in Shulzburg. Um, One of three I know of. But um, just here to speak about. Uh, taking care of the bees and plug the bed and breakfast and and massage. She and actually massage, also has yeah. a massage yeah. therapist. If you here. blow out your back or have a swarm of bees in your yard or have a family in town that need a place to stay. Yep, correct. Your girls. Correction house, bed and breakfast. Yeah, so yeah. Heather came over yesterday and told us this great bee story. And I'm like, man, more people need to be aware of the bees. So. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little. Well, basically, someone in town off Judgment Street had a swarm of bees in their front yard, and it was really close to a basketball hoop where their kids like to shoot ball every night. So it was like, hmm, what do we do? And they called a uh, sheriff in town, and and he called around and found my number, and I suited up, went out, and grabbed a empty super. Um, which is what the bees live in. It's like this one box. It's called a super. It's super. And placed it on top of a step ladder. They were up in a tree about, I don't know, maybe eight feet off the ground. And then took my loppers and lopped off the bees and they fell in the box and I buzzed home. Buzzed <laughs> buzz. home. I want to see the guard before we move on. I want to see the guard. Right. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Looks like. I've never been next to a real bee beekeeper. I know. Bee suit I know. And everything. I mean, this thing it's is full of lots of things. Hopefully not bees. <laughs> bee poop and bee poop. Bee poop. So yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. This is repaired. The grasshoppers, you know, chewed on it once. Oh it looks like we go to the moon. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm actually, she's gonna be an astronaut. So that's awesome. The book. Well, while she's while she's getting all that on, yeah, I don't we're know. This night, I won't get stuck when I collect your bees. That's you right. Know. Unless they fly in the hole. You've never done that yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they So play some wildflowers, right? Yeah. So um, I don't know if Cheerios is still mm -hmm. offering this, but if you go to Cheerios' website, they used to have a packet of seeds to bring back the bees because they are on the endangered list, yes. if I'm understanding right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a bee-friendly wildflower mix, so they are free um, to use. Uh -oh. So if you want to get on a Cheerios website and check it out. That's burritos that are done. And also, pretty simply, um, letting your clovers grow, your dandelions grow, and things like that is extremely beneficial. Let your dandelions grow, really. Yeah. They're loaded with pollen. That's a great So embrace your weeds. Embrace your weeds, people. Embrace your weeds. Yeah. <laughs> embrace your weeds. <laughs> hey, do you think um, you can awesome. finish up this baby? Um, Sure, I mean, I got, we got a couple of things. We got the bake case. We got that already. Lafayette yep. County Fair finishes up. Yep. Or starts, starts, starts tomorrow, not tomorrow. finishes. And speaking of Durlington, there's a new place there, uh, City Brew. Brewing. Mm -hmm. City, City Service, Service Brewing. Brewing. I haven't yeah. checked it out Well, yet. we, just, we yeah. just found that online today, so I was trying to look and, looking for things, and they're open in the mornings. I think they have coffee and scones as well. Oh, so I think yeah, from 7 to 11. we will be running out. We're, we're booked up tomorrow, but we'll be running out on Thursday. I want to yes. go out there. So. Yeah. Watch we'll out. We're coming for you on Thursday. City, City Service Brewing. City Service Brewing in Darlington. It looks cool. It looks like they're open in the mornings with some coffee and some baked stuff. And then in the afternoons, brewing. I think they must be brewing beer. Brewing and they're, beer? 
they dared to be different. I mean, that place oh, is cool looking no, from the, the pictures that I see. Really so, He's pretty exciting. I drove by, and it, yeah, it looks like state of the art, right next to the creamery. Yeah. Yeah, nice creamery. Yeah. There, so, yeah. so, it looks cool. We love it. Somebody else is doing something different. It's, ah, it's exciting. So, yeah, on that note, I'm going to be out of here. You remind them of ours. I get to get the Yeah. So, we're off Ciao. tomorrow. Today is our Friday. Woo woo. So, we're off on. Can you figure out how to turn it off? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's the question. I okay, told go you on. Well, off Wednesday and Thursday, we will be back Friday morning at 6 a.m. So tune in. And the weather today, hot, stormy. All right. Is it Perfect. stormy? Don't stormy. <laughs> I'm back. All right. Where's the lid? There Ciao. we go. That's the fun part. Here, just so you know for future. Yep, right there. Oh. <laughs> and, and all right. Here's another one you got to hit.